Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. It is Monday. It is the last week in August, and for many people, uh, it's about getting back to school, whether it's um, if you're in the South, um, more Southern states start earlier, and if you're in college, um, congratulations, welcome, uh, have a great year. So a lot of uh, changes going on this week, and we also have a, I believe, full moon in Pisces this week. I'm just going to, let's check that out. Uh, I'm Scary, scary, I'm right, full moon in Pisces. So welcome everyone. I am Melissa L. Watkins, uh, Evidential Medium and Integrated Energy Therapy Master Instructor Teacher. Uh, last week, I was in Newfoundland, Canada, so um, I was not able to do the weekly with you. I actually recorded it, so I'm kind of excited to do the weekly with you this uh, morning, actually. So welcome. Uh, I know that this is a very special time as we are kind of closing out summer and getting into fall, which I think brings routine. I think it brings um, another season of um, just really moving into uh, kind of getting back into the swing of things and um, normalcy for some people. Um, vacations are over. Uh, where I am, the weather is cooling down, so we're able to enjoy outside a little bit more. Um, so, and for those of you in the South, I know you've been going through some kind of like heat, ma major heat wave. So um, hopefully it will cool down for you soon. But um, yeah, this is it. This is it. This is the last week in August. Good morning, Cynthia. Good morning, everyone. Uh, so this is, um, I actually pulled all the decks that I'll be using because I did some meditation while I was sitting here kind of getting ready. Um, you know, my life has changed a little bit. And one of the things, for some reason, whenever my life changes, like meditation seems to be the thing that kind of like gets pushed to the wayside, right? So I haven't been meditating as much as I've wanted to in the past couple of weeks. So getting back on track in so many ways. So like you all who are kind of getting back to a schedule or what feels more normal, um, I feel like I am also. So I'm right there with you. So I feel like this is some of the energy also that we're in. Um, so with that being said, I'm actually going to start, good morning, Chrissy, uh, with um, an overarching kind of theme for what's coming up this week for us. Good morning, Tammy. Hello, honey. Um, let me know if um, I'm looking at you through the camera because I'm actually looking, I moved the camera. Um, so I don't know if um, I look like I'm looking away. I've been trying to really figure this out since I moved my whole operation. I feel like I don't know where to look. So um, if you feel like I'm looking at you, I would appreciate um, just a thumbs up or something to let me know um, so I can I can adjust because I can't see myself right now because I'm actually looking in the camera, which is separate from uh, the computer. So a lot of, lot of good things going on, guys. A lot of good things going on. All right. Overarching message for this. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Look at that. Debilitated. Debilitated. Yeah. Um, spirit is basically saying uh, something this week um, is going to bring in some discomfort. Whew. Some discomfort. Look at that. Yeah, and it's card number uh, 14. So this is a five in numerology, which is about change. And change brings discomfort. Whew, see how it all kind of lines up, guys? Yeah. <sighs> this isn't discomfort that you haven't been feeling. This isn't discomfort that's new. This is discomfort um, on things or relationships or situations that you've been feeling, but it's like ramping up this week because uh, you've not been making the changes or course corrections is what I'm hearing. So yeah, so this is like things are getting more uncomfortable this week only because these situations or relationships, you've not been making the change. You've not been doing the work. You've not been heeding the advice from spirit. Yeah. And look at the bottom of the deck. Sustainability. Yeah. Because this is not sustainable. This is not sustainable, guys. So where you, um, the reason things are getting discomfort or uncomfortable or more uncomfortable is because where you are and what you're trying to maintain is not sustainable. 
So there's something this week that is going to change. And again, this isn't something new. I don't feel like it's a tower moment. I don't feel like it's anything you haven't been feeling coming on or you've been knowing you have to make the change. But now it's this week. It's time. And it could be this full moon coming in on Wednesday that's really saying, okay, we're dumping you out of or we're uh, moving you um, or uh, we're really bringing you we're really bringing you to it. Um, yeah, because it's time. Because what you've been doing can't stay. What you've been doing is not sustainable. And so for some of you, it is about, about getting into balance. Look at this chakra system lit up, right? You've been getting the um, messages. You've been getting the signs. You've been getting the synchronicities, right? But you've been kind of pushing them off or going, mm, I can wait or it'll get better. And I feel like this week something's going to change. Something's going to change. All right, let's dig into this. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. It is that time of year. And actually, my my voice sounds much better. If you've watched me at all this past week, um, my allergies, um, like the second day in Newfoundland last week uh, weekend, like they just whew, like took me, like all of a sudden I was back in that like whole sinus thing. So I feel like I'm getting my voice back. Oh, awesome. Thank you, Cynthia. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, so um, whew, let's see. I don't know if you just caught that um, slip up. I said so instead of um, so. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like um, I feel like the 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 God so is with us. Hmm. There might be a message in that for us. I'm going to look that up in a minute. Interesting. Interesting. I didn't see uh, this reading going in that direction, but okay. All right. All right. Yeah. Some something this week. Yeah. It's time. The reason you're getting uncomfortable, uh, the reason that um, this didn't come out upside down, just so you know. Um, yeah. The reason you're getting uncomfortable this week is because justice is coming in. So there's going to be some balance, some karmic balance this week. So that's why that's why it's going to be uncomfortable because this balance is coming in because the imbalance was unsustainable. The imbalance could not be sustained. So whoever was coming at you, whatever was coming at you, um, yeah, some karmic balance is coming in this week, which is bringing you into, so the next card that came out, and I'm like, I need a place to put this down so I can pick this other card up. Look at that. Yeah. The fool came right out. Because for many of you, all of us in some way, there's a new road this week that's opening up. So whether the road has already presented itself and you're you've you're stepped onto it or the road is just presenting itself or for those of you who are like you just feel the new road coming right that's what I feel like's happening this week justice and the fool are bringing you into this new situation this new sustainable energy that again new relationship new career new job new way of feeling about things so for many of you, this is just very um, uh, like a, a switch on the inner that's being flipped because it's time, because karmic balance is coming in to say you deserve to feel better. And remember, when you turn when you change the internal, that is when the external changes, right? So for those of you who've been making the internal shifts, you've been doing the forgiveness, you've been getting into gratitude, you've been releasing what needs to be released, right? This is the week that it becomes new. So this is why some things may feel uncomfortable because they're really falling away in some way, or you're walking away from something in some way this week. But again, it's not anything new. It's not anything you haven't been knowing has to be different or made the change of, but you may have been again, just trying to go along to get along or make it okay. Because um, sometimes when we we're being brought to a change, it's so uncomfortable. It's so scary. It's like, but this'll get better, but this'll be okay. And spirit's like, yeah, look at that. This is, this is what showed up when I was saying that. Yeah. The four of cups, like, no, let me just stay here. It'll be okay. It'll get better. But Spears like, no, you're focusing on what was and you need to focus on what is or what's going to be, what's what's really um, 
the thing that's that's good in your life, right? You, yeah, you can't stay here as much as you want to, as hard as it's going to be, as unpleasant as the change is going to be. In some cases, spirits like no this week, no. Um, so there might be contention, there might be um, a, an argument, you know. There might be a conversation that's difficult, but it's because you've been feeling it coming and it's time to clear the air. It's time to make the change. It's time to get on the new road. Look at that. Yeah. Two, two of pentacles. Yeah. It's time to make the, the decision. It's time to come into alignment. It's time to come into balance this week. So something is going to bring you to that new, to that new way, that new road, but you got to make the choice. You got to make the choice this week. I feel like there's no not making the choice. Um, yeah, it's time. It's time to have the new. It's time for the new growth, the new way, the new situation, the new people that is sustainable, that is going to value you, that is going to be um, the way forward. But uh, you got to make the choice. You got to make the choice. And you can't stay in the past. You can't stay focused on what was. No. Mm -mm, nope. Karmic balance this week. It's about getting into, look at that, what, what is coming, what is new, uh, what will be sustainable in the next cycle, in the next go around. You know, for some of us, we have three year cycles. For some of us, we have seven year cycles. For some of us, uh, longer cycles, 10 years, uh, 12 years is what I'm hearing. So that's why um, for some of you, it's hard to make that change because your cycles are so long that when you're brought to a new road or a new situation, it's like, no, 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 no. Let me stay where I'm comfortable. Let me stay where I'm safe and stable. And spirit's like, uh, no, we can't because that's not your road anymore. You learned what you needed to learn or you helped where you needed to help. And now it's time for you to move on. And that can feel very scary. Yeah, Cynthia. Yeah. And I don't feel like you're alone. I mean, I, I can I can really think of situations in my own life um, with people around me and myself where that it's all I, I feel it. I feel that we have to we have to make a change. I mean, I had to move uh, my office. Right. And I've been figuring out like the new setup so that I can, you know, feel comfortable on camera. I wasn't feeling comfortable and I was using virtual backgrounds and that really didn't work. Um, but there's relationships, you know, that we have to, um, I'm starting new relationships, you know, I'm really starting to venture out into, you know, I, I traveled to a different country, my passport got used. Um, and I'm also now stepping into, you know, working with beautiful other practitioners and having a community um, in my community. Um, so no, we're all being, you know, guided to step out of our comfort zones. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, yeah. And this week, uh, the way in which you change or you make um, yourself be heard is with honest communication. And what I would say about honest communication is, remember, we want to drop down into our heart. If you're speaking from your heart, even if you're saying what they don't want to hear, it can at least be received, right? They at least hear what you're saying, right? When you're when you're speaking from that ego, from your mental body, that is when the ego and the fight or flight, the fear is coming through. The feeling of the fear is coming through. That's when they can't be heard. That's when you're in the contention. That's when you probably have a blow up or a real down and dirty argument, right? And I don't want you to have that this week um, as things come up. So drop down into your heart, have honest communication in a way where you can be heard, even if they don't like what you're saying, even if they're not willing to make the changes, they're knowing that you're making changes or that what you need is what you're going to be doing for yourself because you're honestly communicating with them. So this week, this is about you being very clear through honest communication from the heart, from the heart. <sighs> because that's where it's heard. That's where it's heard. So again, maybe they don't like the changes you're making. Maybe don't they understand the choices and decisions that you need to make for yourself, but they can at least hear you. All right. So let's see what else advice wants to come in. Oh, two, two. Yeah. And you have earth mother, God coming in, coming in to support you. So um, sometimes dropping down into your heart when you want to have a card conversation, the, the easiest way to do that is just to put your hand on your heart and take deep breaths or do a five-minute meditation 
take yourself out of the situation or, or don't even come into the situation until, you know, you've had um, some quiet time to get into connection with Mother Gaia, Father God, and really feel that support from the other side. And when you're in that energy of uh, Mother Earth and Father God, you know, again, you're in your heart space, they can hear you, they can receive you. Again, may not like it, but they can at least receive it, they can hear it, right? Because it is about you coming into understanding and forgiveness, not about anybody else coming into understanding or forgiveness, but you coming into understanding and forgiveness, because that is what is going to allow you to drop down into your heart. That is what is going to allow you, um, if you're coming from that place of understanding and forgiveness, again, you're in your heart space, right? You're in the higher vibrational frequency. Again, they may not understand it. They may not like it, but the energy that it's coming from, they can at least receive it. And only one they can receive it can real change or growth be had. So again, it may not be a change or growth that you see right away, but because they've received what you've said in that honest communication, they now have the ability, right, to make the cha necessary changes if they're going to. If they're not, then you get that too, right? You know that too. And then you can keep proceeding in the direction that you need to proceed for yourself. And sometimes that's all we can do. But it's about your choice this week. It's about your choice this week. Um, it's about what you need for yourself, not what anybody else needs. And sometimes that can be uncomfortable. Sometimes that can be sad. Sometimes, okay, I feel liberated. I feel like I can now go in the direction that I need to go in, right? Um, I was called. I have three other decks out here. So for those of you who have um, continued on the live or you're watching on the replay, um, I've got three other decks. We're going to do a bonus message. I was actually led to three other decks, which is why you've seen me um, while I'm talking kind of organize myself because I'm actually going to pull uh, another whole message with um, the frequencies that wanted to come in and be with us um, in their higher frequencies. So um, yeah, if you're watching on the replay, uh, welcome. Uh, please hashtag replay. If you're here watching live, thank you for still being here. Um, I'm probably going to be dropping uh, timestamps um, for those of you um, who find it difficult to watch a longer message, but those of you maybe who just put me on and listen, right? You don't watch necessarily. You listen. Uh, yeah, this is this is for all of you um, who needed an extra message this week for, um, I feel like all the retrogrades that are going on, um, because I know that, um, we're in like a retrograde season with Mercury, but we've also got some other retrogrades going on and these energies are a lot. And I feel like spirit really wanted to come in and give us an extra message. Um, and with that being said, I'm actually going to look into, good morning, Lynn. I'm actually going to look into, um, Thoth or Toth, um, because uh, that was not um, an arbitrary um, slip up. I feel like um, he's here with us. Um, and so that's why I kind of misspoke when I was trying to say so. And I said, so. So maybe that's how you say it, thoth or tho. All right. So uh, we're going to, we're going to, uh, so yeah, stay tuned. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to look into that. But, oh, I got two. I got two that wanted to come out mm. this week. Clarity. Archangel Gabriel is coming in. Um, to help you with, and, and it doesn't surprise me that he's coming in with clarity because if you think about it, right, if you have an unsustainable situation or relationship, right, um, and you need to make a change, there's some clarity that you're being brought, an aha moment, right, a, a light bulb flip, right? So if you don't feel like you've gotten that or you need that, call in, invoke Archangel Gabriel to come in and say, I need some clarity on this situation. What is it that I'm not seeing? What is it that I don't know? Right? Help me, help me, help me, please. Because I also got um, energy clearing with positive energy. So yeah, I feel like for those of you who are really feeling like I need help, right? I don't know why things aren't going the way they're, that I want them to go. I'm not, I'm not sure why I'm not manifesting what I want. I'm not sure why things are so difficult, right? Call in Archangel Gabriel for clarity to help you clear the energy around you 
so that you can really move away from the negativity that's holding you down, right? The weight on your shoulders, right? Um, yeah. So, so Archangel um, Gabriel is coming in and also positive energy to help us, to help us with whatever it is that we need to feel, hear, see, or know in a situation that maybe is just on the edge of our awareness, or maybe it is that we just know something's wrong. We just don't know what. We just know something's not right. We just don't know what, right? Help invoke spirit to help you know what that is. All right. Um, Archangel Gabriel to help you know what that is. All right. So let's look into this um, God that wants to come in. Okay. Sorry about that shot. <laughs> Not going to tell you what kind of shot it was, but you all know if you're watching. Oh, sorry about that. I'm like, as I like bent over, I'm like, mm, mm, I'm on camera. That's probably not attractive. <laughs> Sorry about that. But it's going to be worth it because we're going to get the message here. <laughs> awesome, Cynthia. Awesome. Yeah, my comments seem to be coming like a delayed reaction, like a delayed response. I don't know why, but it's okay. Toth, Thoth. Uh, let's see. Oh, the H. It is. Wow. Okay, it is toe. Yeah, the H is silent. So maybe, um, let's see, pronounced with a silent H, so it would be Tot, also known as Tahuti, is the ancient Egyptian ibis-headed god of writing, divine magic, and the moon. Hmm, we have a full moon this week, so I'm not surprised he's coming in. Acknowledged as a sacred scribe who created writing, he is considered to be the great mind behind hieroglyphics and the maintainer of the Egyptian universe. In the Western magical community, and this is um, from Kyle Gray's The Divine Masters, Ancient Wisdom, so I want to give him, um, definitely give him the uh, shout out. In the Western magical community, um, Toth. Okay, so that's the first H that's silent. So Toth is seen as an all-powerful spiritual guide who can help us understand the energy of magic and the power of our will. Hmm. Yeah, because a lot of you, if you're changing your situation this week, you are asserting your will. And it's not that um, negative will of I'm going to have what I want, right? No, it's that it's, it's, your, it's your solar plexus chakra, the will of your being that you deserve better. You deserve what you want, your purpose. Okay, so let's definitely make that distinction. He is the mastermind behind the Hermetic texts. The ancient Greeks knew him as Hermes, which means uh, Hermes thrice great, and the Romans as Mercury. Hmm. And I think Mercury might be doing something this week in the in the uh, astrology, if I'm not mistaken, or was that Mars? I was listening to something, and um, yeah. So um, if you've got an astrologer, I think I would check out the astrology this week. Overall, this divine being has had many incarnations and assumed many forms on earth. Uh, he is all but communication on all levels. So yeah, guys, if you're having those hard conversations, I'm not surprised he's here with us. He's here coming in to help you communicate again from that heart space so that you can say what you need in the way that you need to this week that will absolutely be beneficial. It won't be the blow up fight. It won't be the contention. It won't be the tower moment, right? If you're speaking from your heart, again, they may not like what you're saying, but they can step back and think about what you're saying because it's coming from love. It's all about harnessing the energies of above and below, helping us re recognize that we have an infinite interconnection with all and ultimately source. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why I feel like he's coming in to help you with your communication, to help you communicate from your heart. So the other um, deck that I had was also from Melanie Beckler. Um, so this is, um, I, I don't know what she calls this deck. I've kind of lost the, oh, and that one went flying. 
Yeah. It's because it's time for you to get on your mission. We have a role to play. Listen, trust, act, be the change. So yeah, this week, change in some way in your life that is really, really, really coming in to help you. And it, change doesn't have to be bad. And tech, tech, normally it's not when you're going through it and making it, it is, right? But then when you get down the other side of the change, it's like, okay, this is where I needed to be. This is why that had to change. So I feel like this week, um, your mission, whatever that is for you, is really coming into your experience to help you with your purpose, with your will, speak your truth. Be your authentic self. All right. And for the bonus message, the last um, deck uh, that wanted to come out was again a Kyle Gray. So a lot of um, I feel like a lot of energy that he channels is, is here with us today. But yeah, the light, uh, the gateway of the light activation is uh, the other deck that wanted to come in for this extra message for us this week. Oh, awesome, Cynthia. Awesome. And she says, I got to chill when you mentioned him coming in around the full moon. Yeah, I feel like he's here. He's he's wanting to help us to communicate and to support us in our communication this week. So if you're someone who doesn't know who he is, you might want to look him up. If you're someone who feels like you've already worked with him or been working with him, I feel like he's coming in to just absolutely support you this week. All right. Whew big card, the divine matrix, interconnectedness, synchronicity, and God incidences. Yeah, that's what's going on this week for you. Something is coming in to give you a synchronicity this week that's going to help you know what way to go, what decision to make, what karmic balance is coming in for you. So it's not coincidence. It is a God incidence. It is a synchronicity. So please don't brush it off is just a coincidence. Uh, no, this is your synchronicity. This is your karmic balance. So embrace it, lean into it, go for it, even though it may feel uncomfortable, completely new, completely uncomfortable. It is for you. Accept it, especially for those of you who are still dealing with unworthiness issues and you don't or aren't able to receive things. This is the week to uh, lean into that uncomfortableness and receive it anyway. And receive it anyway. All right. So thank you for being here. Uh, announcements. Yes, I am doing uh, IET basic, intermediate, and advanced level certifications at Crystal Clear Health and Wellness. Uh, 31 Loop Road in Auburn on September 15th, 16th, and 17th. If that's something you're interested in, uh, please go to my website under events and grab your ticket because if you do that um, and pay in full, you get 10% off uh, up until I believe um, September 1st. So I feel like it's uh, just a few days away. Um, and then the um, full price will be in effect. And you can also do installments. So if you want to do three installments of uh, 240 a piece, um, that's uh, what each class costs. So you could do the installments if that's something that makes it easier for your budget. I get it. Trust me. And if you're somebody who needs something more budget friendly, please, please reach out. We can work something out. We have classes. We have students. Um, so the seats are being taken and it is limited seating just so that we have enough time to get everyone really good practice because I want everybody walking out confidently. So you can take this and start practicing that day, that week and start uh, building your healing practice or start using it on yourself. Um, if you're someone that just wants the certification because you want the attunements to the um, angelic healing frequency with the nine archangels, that's okay too. Absolutely. But any way you're taking this course, for whatever reason you're taking this certification class, um, I want you confident. And so yes, seating is limited and two of those seats are taken. So I hope... Um, you will grab your seat this week if you are ready to uh, begin your journey with Healing with the Angels. So I'm very, very excited about that. If you want more information, please go to my website, guidance311.com, or uh, grab your ticket, grab your seat, get yourself your seat. All right. So that's that's what we got going on in September. In October, um, just as an FYI, save the date, 
Um, I'm actually going to be doing the evidential medium course in person. Um, that will be five Wednesdays. Um, at that point, Crystal is moving um, in Auburn from Loop Road to Seminary Street, and she'll be in her new location where we will do the evidential medium classes in the new location. So I'm so excited about that. So save the date. That is also in the event section of my website if you want to know more about that. And I have seats already taken for that. So um, yes, definitely. If you're someone who has taken my evidential medium course online and you're local and you would like to come to the in-person classes, please reach out to me and uh, we can make that happen. Um, so I would love to meet those of you who took it during COVID um, online and would like to take it in person. I would love for you to be a part of that experience. So Awesome, Lynn. Thank you for being here. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. So those are the announcements. Um, other than that, uh, yeah, stay tuned. Uh, I will be doing and dropping the full moon in Pisces um, pick a card uh, either today or tomorrow. That'll be coming. And um, what else? Anybody got any questions for me while I'm here? <laughs> it's going to be a good week. It's going to be a good week. I know it feels a little... Um, I don't want to say scary, but you know, when change is on the horizon, but again, I don't feel like these are any changes you haven't been felt coming. I just feel like this is the week that you not forced to make them, but yeah, uh, something is brought to uh, help you make them. All right. Thank you guys. Have a beautiful rest of your week. I will talk to you all soon. Thank you for letting me be a part of your journey and uh, be with you every week, most days. All right. Oh, other announcement this Wednesday night for those of you in my online community, say uh, plan on being with us Wednesday night for the meetup starting at 630. So I'm excited for that. All right. So and don't forget to check out the community because I have dropped all the meeting dates for the rest of this year. So you can plug them in your calendar so we can start getting together on a regular basis in person. And don't forget all the replays are there for those of you who haven't been able to join us uh, in person. All right. So that's what we got going on in the online community. If you want to be a part of my online community, again, go to guidance311.com. All right, guys, sending you so much love and so many blessings. Have a great week and we'll talk to you soon.